Oh, how times are changing. It looks like one of the most promising youngsters in the world at the moment wants to come to little old Newcastle. Things are definitely changing and hopefully the future's looking bright. So stick around. <laughs> Back another video on the channel, Newcastle fans. If you are new to Black and White Banter, you've just stumbled across us randomly on YouTube. Make sure you drop down, give us one of these. It goes a long way to just getting us up that search bar. And if you haven't already, get Black and White Banter on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, obviously, click the subscribe button on YouTube. And we also on TikTok and Twitter now. TikTok, getting down with the kids. But hey, I got told because my videos are pretty funny at times to get on there as well. So we haven't done a video for about a week or so now, international break, very busy, posting a lot of other content on the other channels and just not too much to talk about, injury news here and there, but not generally many topics to really get the blood flowing. But international break is over, thank you very much. And there's been a bit of transfer news today. Um, so it looks like we are, in principle, about to sign Garan Kual from Australian side Central Coast Mariners. Now, he's a very sought-after youngster. He's It's kind of come out of the blue. I mean, he's, he's been linked for like the last week, but Sky Sports News today have actually broken that it's happening. The deal is done in principle. He's going to sign officially on January the 1st, as long as all the talks go OK. He's going to travel to Newcastle. Very cold Newcastle for him uh, to, to get talks done. He's only a young lad. He's only 18. He's been lighting up the world. There's been interest from... Real Madrid has been interest from Dortmund more recently, and it looks like we have pipped these teams to get these signature. Um, and it, it it just hammers home for me. My first thought when I read this: yes, I don't know much about the player. I've watched some clips of some goals. He played against Barcelona in a friendly over the summer for A League All Stars, basically Australians Super Team. I think is basically what that means. He came on as a sub and he terrorised Barcelona. Uh, Xavi, who we all know very well, one of their most famous players, Barcelona, ex-Barcelona midfielder, now manager, he actually came out after the game and said, wow, he looks a talent, he caused us all sorts of problems. He hit the post, he had a shot saved. There's a moment where he skins like the whole Barcelona team. I've just put it on my Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you drop Black White Banter a follow if you haven't already seen that clip. I can't share it here because I get in trouble. But... He looks a promising youngster. He's broke onto the scene in the, in the top Australian league. He scored goals last season. I've checked those out on YouTube as well. Lovely finishes, all different kinds of finishes. First time from a ball over the top. He's got more composed like centre forward finishes into the bottom corner. Some really good goals there. And there's a lot of teams been after him. So this just... <laughs> It hammers home to me how things... And I know it's almost the anniversary of the takeover and I'm going to be doing a separate video on that. A year since we got taken over almost. And it just tells me that the wheels are constantly turned in the background. The season, yes, it's up and running, but there's so much work going on behind the scenes now that Darren Eels is at the wheel, now that uh, Richard Ashworth is at the wheel. Uh, Dan Ashworth, sorry, Richard. Where where I'm getting Richard from. But... We are never stopping looking to the future. And if you even go back to the summer where we signed MacArthur, uh, we signed Alex Murphy, two, two very promising centre-backs from Ireland and Scotland. And we are constantly making those wheels turn, bringing in really big talents that the whole of Europe is looking at. And this just hammers home again. We are getting a player that's getting talked about all over the world because of his uh, appearances against the likes of Barcelona, because of his goals in the A-League. He's actually appeared for Australia for the first ever time last week and it looks like we might even be able to watch him at the World Cup so if we get him over the line the Winter World Cup if he play, if he gets in the squad for Australia imagine that and yeah there's a project in place here and we you know how many years now have we, we've been talking about the Newcastle Academy being an absolute shit show pardon the French from memory for me the only talents I can really talk about that have come through the Newcastle Academy in the last what 14 years is Andy Carroll, who was obviously great for us when he first broke onto the scene. We made a lot of money for him. Hasn't really worked out in his career, but he was one of the best English talents, hence Liverpool paying the money they did. Then you'd have to say Paul Dummett. Um, you can argue maybe Tim Kroll. Uh, you know, same kind of era. Tim Kroll broke through from the academy as a goalkeeper. You know, 
you're clutching straws after that. You're talking about maybe Fraser Forster, Adam Armstrong, who now plays for Southampton. There just hasn't been much incredible talent. And this is, North East is a hotbed of football. We live it, we breathe it. I play football. Most of you watching this video play football who are Newcastle fans. It's everywhere. I wake up, I make myself a bowl of cereal. And I sometimes look in that and I'm daydreaming about football whilst I'm eating my cereal. It's everywhere. It's in our blood. So we should be getting more talent through. But the fact that we are now scouring some of the best players in that sort of 15, 16 and above bracket is absolutely fantastic. And this just adds that. And I'm looking to the future and I'm thinking Elliot Anderson, who looks an absolute baller, by the way. If we can nurture him in the right way, Eddie Howe, I'm sure, will do that. Look after him. He is only going to get better and better. He's the one to really get excited about. You've got Elliot Anderson. You've got Isaac, who we've just signed. Isaac, he's only 20. So he's the one for the future. You've got Sven Botman, who's a very, very young centre-back that we've paid all this money for. The future looks bright for us as a football club um, with these kind of players coming in. And it's all adding to that project. You know, the academy's been worked on. We've got new chief executives in. We've got... New sort of scouts who are looking all over the world. And Garan Kual looks like that sort of player. But I mean, who is he? Well, obviously I've done some digging myself on this. He's a quite a versatile player. He's only young, so we're not going to talk about stats too much. But he's a he's a winger who can also play as a centre forward. So very much like Isaac, if you wanted to compare him. And obviously, like I don't want to say Thierry Henry, like everyone does. But that kind of player who is versatile at both. Likes to get involved, which is why he likes to play on the wing. He's not very strong. That's something that a lot of scout reports I've read that he's going to have to work on from his early games in Australia because the European League, especially the Premier League, is going to be a bit of a shock to the system for him if he if he doesn't start smashing them by some curls in the gym. So that's an area he maybe needs to work on. He's very, very pacey. He loves to dribble. He actually has he has six a 61% uh, success rate and 0.91 dribbles per game. Um, which in the stat world is quite a lot and that success rate is really good although we can't look at the stats too much because he's so young and he hasn't played much football but hey, he's playing with some of the bigger boys in Australia and I'm not going to sit here and say I know much about how competitive the Australian league is I don't, I don't watch it as most Europeans don't but he's been thrown into the deep end and he's scoring goals uh, Dwight York who managed the A-League All-Stars against Barcelona had lots of good things to say about him Zavi's had lots of good things to say about him. The world is looking at him and it looks like he's be going to become a Geordie. Let's just hope he doesn't get involved too much in the nightlife with treble vodkas in Mushroom and very, very cheap uh, drinks in the big market. It's always tempting. But it's exciting and he sounds like a fantastic player. Um, lots of things to work on. He's only young, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail like I have done with previous signings. Because we're talking about a raw talent who has a lot to learn in the game. But I'm excited. And this just goes to show the project that is in place at Newcastle now. As we approach that one year anniversary of the takeover. Young talent. Academy. First team money being spent left, right and centre. Centre. Full confidence in Eddie Howe. Just building something. The, the, look at the Newcastle women's team being part of the club for the first ever time. Getting record attendances. It's just a wonderful place to be. And yes, the start of the season's been a little bit mixed. I personally think if other, if things had certain, certainly gone our way, VAR decisions, etc., etc., there'd be nothing to worry about at all. We'd be in the top six, so people just need to chill the fuck out. But yeah, it looks like Goran Kual is coming through the door. And the future is looking bright for Newcastle United. And I'm delighted about it. Um, if you have liked this video on Newcastle fans, make sure you drop down. Give us one of these. Like I said, it go, does go a long way. And if you haven't already... Get BWB on all your social media channels as well. I'll touch down for a full match preview. Yes, football is back. Fuck you, international break. Lovely to see the back here. Um, I'm going down to the game. I've got a ticket for Fulham, so there will be a, an away day vlog coming your way, but a match preview before that. So drop down, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Hawaii Gurankuol's Mags. Yeah.